afternoon. I am going to get my slides ready. Yep, and I'm going to get us going on Facebook. Uh, just okay. let me know when you're ready. Yep, just one second. Uh, Hello. Um, downstairs, I need to scan some documents. Just give me one second. Oh, okay. oh, no. I need to be made co host, please. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm All right, Sarasa, we're live on Facebook. You can go whenever you're ready. Can you make me co host so I can share my screen? Please? Absolutely, I can. Thank you. You should be all set. Got it. Thank you. All right. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for our part two of getting started on YouTube. Today, we are going to go over how to create an intro and an outro, or you can call it an end cap for your YouTube video. Uh, the last uh, session was about how to get started, how to set your, your channel up and how to create your banner art. So if you missed it, please go back to um, the New Haven Free Public Library YouTube uh, Facebook um, page and you can find the video link recording to that. So if you don't know already, <laughs> I am Saressa Newsom, the creative in residence here at the Ives Main Library um, in New Haven, Connecticut. I am a creative and an entrepreneur, excuse the R that dropped off. Um, I founded Endangered Stitches, um, a community for aspiring knitters, crocheters, and sewers. Uh, we are here local in uh, New Haven and we offer courses online as well. So we're just gonna get started. Um, today, we're gonna use Canva to quickly create Yes, if you have any questions, please feel free to enter it into the chat. Um, so I use Canva a lot to design. I use it also to uh, design the banner art. So Canva is a really, it's a free program, first of all. Um, I don't think you need to pay for it. There's other, other things, other features that you would have access to when you pay for it, but you really don't need it. Um, so I use it to design many different things. Um, it, it, it really makes it easy. And we're going to use that today to do an intro and the end cap. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So your intro video, it goes in the beginning of your, um, your YouTube video. So the last time I mentioned we did and um, we did the banner art. So your intro is, it could be the same as your banner art, but it will go at the beginning of your video. It shows your viewer what they're going to expect. So it would have your the name of your channel. It will have, um, it'll include what your channel is about so they know what they're gonna be watching. And usually it includes like a, a, vid, um, a music, uh, a audio piece to go with it. So it's just something to capture your viewers' um, attention and um, just to grab them. Your end cap goes at the end and that one is more so a call to action so that they can subscribe, they can like your, your content, and they can follow you if you have an Instagram page or Facebook page. So I'll just show you how to make it something look beautiful, really easy in Canva. So I'm gonna share my screen again so you can see my Canva. Okay. So to start off, you should get a free Canva account. And 
you would go to create design in the upper right hand corner. So I usually do um, YouTube thumbnail. You can create video um, or you can do YouTube channel art. YouTube th thumbnail is the great, uh, the perfect format to start with. So you have a blank canvas here. Uh, so remember the elements that I mentioned you would include. You would include your, uh, your channel name or your business name if they're the same. You will include what what you're doing so if it's a beauty um, channel if you're doing tutorials on how to do makeup you will include that so anyone who's doing a search and your video comes up they will see that in the beginning um, because when when you go onto youtube and you do a search generally you don't see the channel art you only see the channel art when you go to the specific uh the the specific channel and you see there all of just their content but when you do a general search you do not see that so i have a blank slate and i'm going to create channel art for um i did a test youtube channel for cir test and the banner art was green it had a picture of myself a uh, paint palette and um it said you know weekly tips and tricks and um, tips and tutorials. And uh, it had creative consultant, something along those lines. So we're going to keep consistent with that. So I have and if you have any any suggestions, just type in, you know, anything you want to see, just type it in the chat and I'll try to incorporate that in my design just so that you can see how you can do that if that's something you're interested in doing specifically for your YouTube channel. So green, I like bright colors. <laughs> so we're gonna go with green as a background. There's also an option to create to use other like textured backgrounds or um, let's see. So we'll go to elements and go to background. You type in background. So it all of these um, background options would come up. Okay, I actually like this uh, blue and green one. So we're gonna use that instead of the, the green solid background. So you'll just drag that over and it pops right into uh, the page. Okay, so we are going to do consistent, keep it consistent, CIR, so creative in residence. Um, there are some um, templates for different design type. So you can choose from any of these. See here on the left panel, you can choose any from any of these. Or if there's a font that's consistent with your brand that you've been using, you can use that as well. Uh, so right here, I am going to select uh, something that pops. And it's going to, let's see, I saw something earlier. Okay, so this player one, I guess it stands out. Okay, so it's very bright. You can change the colors here by going up to text color. And this is the pink and the blue. Maybe let's see what yellow looks like. Okay, so we have yellow, pink, and blue. Okay, so we're going to change this to the copy that I want, CIR. Actually, I don't like that it's all lowercase. So I'm going to use something else. I'm going to use this one now open. OK. I are OK. So I'm going to center that. And so even with just this, you 
even with this, I can uh, animate the copy and this alone can be an intro, but we're gonna add more. So this is how you would animate it. You click, you can animate the whole page or you can an animate just one element. So I'm going to animate just the text that I typed here. Animate, I see a question. Okay, so someone's asking about the first, second, third steps to get started on Canva. So um, you would go to canva.com, you would sign up, you need to have your email and create a password. So that's how you will get your Canva account. So when you go to Canva, you will go to create design, as I showed you all, create a design and create and go to YouTube thumbnail and it will give you a blank canvas. So after I went to YouTube thumbnail, created my canvas, I then started to add these details to customize it. Canva is very user-friendly for me. Um, it's very easy to navigate. Um, again, that could just be because I am a designer and I am familiar with designing, uh, but I, I find that a lot of people use Canva, even people that are not hey. designers. Daddy. Okay, so to animate, which we're gonna change this from a static thumbnail to something that with motion. So that, then it turns into a video. So what I did was I clicked on the element and up here in the toolbar, I'm clicking animate. So on the left side, you'll see the basic animations and it'll give you a preview when you click on it. So you can have it rise, pan, fade. So there's so many options. They have free options and these are the ones that you would pay for. Me, I don't think you need those, but if there's something very specific that you need those, you know, it's usually a low cost or you have to get the premium account to get that. So I like this typewriter for this one, but here are some other options. You'll just get a preview for each of them. That one at verse is a popular one as well. Excuse me, everyone's home this week because it's a winter break. That one is cool too. Okay, so let's let's do the skate. So I'm gonna use the skate. And then I'm going to, let's see, maybe I add an animation to the background as well. So, Let's see photo flow. So you see some movement in the background now. So it's making it a little bit more interesting. You can change the timing. Your thumbnail, your, sorry, your intro video can be as long or as short as you want. You may know that it's best to capture your audience attention in the least time as possible. So, Typically, intro videos can be anywhere from five seconds to 10 or 12 seconds. So that's that depends on, on you, what you're doing, you know, what, what your personal preference is. So just for this one page, five seconds to me is too much. So when I select play just to get a preview of what it will look like in the video, I'll see, see five seconds is too long just for that. Okay, so there's an option to cut that down. I'll just click here and the timing, I'll cut it down to all the way. I think it goes as, low. okay, one second, I'll say two seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna add another page because we're building this video. It's gonna be, it's, it's, it's actually a short video that you're building. So I'm gonna duplicate this page by using the uh, double, um, boxes here with the plus sign. And then in this next slide, I'm going to add what the channel is about. So I'm going to find another font here. 
and I'm going to use just the basic. So if I go all the way to the top, it's giving me an option to add a heading. So it already formats for a heading, it formats for subheading and um, a little text at the bottom. So I just want to use it as a heading. So here I'm going to put creative. Um, consultant and um, let's say entrepreneur. Okay, and that's very big. So I'm just gonna make it smaller. And you just go here, this at the top, this is where you can control the font, the font size, the color, everything here in this toolbar. And then I'm going to center it down. So when you center the font, this red line will come up in the middle. So I, that's good there. So now I am going to add an animation to just this copy here that I just added. So I'm gonna do an animation. And this is really quick. It can be as detailed as you want, or it, it's simple, but once you create one, it's easy to go in and customize and change because over time you may do different things or you may want to change your color and your branding and it's easy to go back. And that's what I like about Canva as well is you go back in and all your work is there so you can always tweak it. So for this, I want, oh, I like how that looks. Mm. Uh, Ascend. I like how ascend looks for that. So I'm going to do ascend. And let's see. So I'm going to do another preview just to see how it looks. Okay. So I don't like the space that it has between the, um, the two videos. So I'm actually going to delete the first one. And I'm going to go back to this one that's a little more seamless. And I'm going to make the length a little longer, let's say three seconds. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle. A lot of um, YouTubers use sparkle in their videos and it's just a little extra pizzazz um, to make it look nice. So I will go to elements, sparkle, and you see all these stars. You have some static images and you also have some um, that move. So I want something that move just to add to the video. Uh, stars are very popular, it's a little sparkle here. So I'm gonna use something like that sparkle and these are free as well anything that has the crown you have to have the pro account so you have a lot of options without paying for um, a pro account okay looking for something with a smaller star Oh, just to add a little sparkle. Let's see. This one is nice. Let's see. And then you can just, you can always change the size here. And you can place it wherever you'd like. Copy and paste. I just use Command C, Command V for copy and paste on my computer. So you have a little sparkle. So when I play my video, you'll see every, how everything works together. So you have CIR, creative consultant, entrepreneur. Okay, so that's the first slide. I'm gonna add another one. So the viewer can see how often videos are posted or um, let's see. So here I'll put uh, 
weekly tutorials. And I will change the color to, um, so what does this look like? No, that's two. Okay. So make that bigger. Weekly tutorials. And center it on the page. So you'll see how it's centered there and center. So it's centered vertically and horizontally when those two lines appear. So I'm going to add an animation to this. So not to the full page, but just to this text. So I'm going to click here. Currently, it has a send because it copied from the previous. So I am going to change it to typewriter. OK, so the full video right now is at six seconds. I'm going to play it again just to see how it looks. OK, that looks great. And one more thing I am going to add. Uh, Canva does have a mobile app. Um, I'm not sure about the um, business status or, or registration of YouTube, but Canva does have a mobile app. It's not my favorite thing to use um, because everything is so small. It's hard to, for me to use. I prefer to use Canva on the desktop. Okay, so I'm going to add one more page because I told everyone who I am, CIR, what I do, and what they want, to, what they are going to expect from my channel. Then here, I'm just going to ask the viewers to subscribe. So you, you some people ask, um, put a call to action to subscribe, um, to like, you know, whatever you want the viewer to do when they come to your page. So there's also a lot of photos and, and elements already here in Canva. That's why I love it. You can get audio, you can get images, you can get um, stock images right here in this um, program. So I'm going to type in subscribe to see if I get a YouTube subscribe button. So I want something that's um, in motion, not static. So I'm just going to scroll until I see something nice that has some motion to it. Okay, so I don't see anything that I would use that has motion. So what I'm going to do is get um, a basic one and animate it. So it looks like there are a lot of these you would have to pay for, which I'm not doing. And you can also um, grab free... Uh, Free images off of um, some sites like Upsplash, Unsplash, or other sites like that that gives free stock images. So you're not just limited to whatever Canva has to offer. Okay, I'm not too crazy about this one. I'm trying not to be too picky today. <laughs> okay, so we'll just use this one. Um, and I'm going to animate it. Sure, so there we have a couple of questions in the chat. Yes. 
Um, uh, one is, do you know if YouTube is considered a nonprofit? I don't think it is. Yeah, I, I am. I addressed those already. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. And then there was a, you addressed the, the one came in a minute ago saying page two appears automatically. So um, when, mm -hmm. with the same background and stars on page one. Yes. So there are some little icons here. So this add page will just add a blank page to duplicate the same page with all of the elements that's here you will just duplicate page here with the little icon with the two pages and the plus sign. That's, those are great questions. Thank you, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna animate this just to make it a little bit more interest, interesting. So we go back to the animation um, and we kind of play around and see the rise looks really good. Oh, that pan looks good too. Um, oh, tumble looks great. Okay, so we're gonna rise. I like rise better. Okay, so you have that. So now my video is at 90 seconds. So I'm just gonna do a preview to see how everything works together. So I'm going to play. Okay, so that looks great. So I'm happy with this. This is CIR, creative consultant entrepreneur. It tells you we provide weekly tutorials um, and subscribe, right? If you like this, subscribe. You can, you can add whatever details you want. There's also options here where if you wanted to add, so some people add like a photo of themselves. On YouTube, it's important that people see you they know who you are because it makes it more personable and they feel like they know you so some people would put a photo here i'm not putting a photo right now i'm just keeping it here but you have the option you can upload photos here go to upload upload media and i have a photo here myself i can just drag and drop that in there um, and you can animate the photo and add effects as well so the last thing I want to do here, I'm happy with this video. I'm going to add music. So when you do your YouTube recording, our next program in March next week is going to, we're going to go over tips and recording. When you do your recording, some people prefer to have music. Some people prefer not to have music. Some people have a mix. Okay. And when you're doing YouTube, it's important that you're using royalty free music. Um, YouTube is very strict with that. And when you uh, gain more uh, of a follower in a community, you may want to start to monetize your channel. And when you want to do that, YouTube really goes in and reviews everything. And if they see that you're using Beyonce, you know, without Beyonce's permission, um, that's like a strike against your channel. So they keep all of that in consideration. Um, and in generally, it's it's a liability. Okay, so you don't want to get in trouble for for using music that you don't have permission to use. So there are sites that you can go to to um, to have royalty music for free. One that I like to use, I just go to YouTube. They have an audio library. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to show you how to um, download music from the YouTube audio library. It's very easy. So I'm just going to stop my share really quick. And I'm going to pull it up here. You're not going to see it just yet. So I'm going to go to the YouTube channel that I created and I'm going to share with you again.
Okay, so here we are. So this is the YouTube channel that we created during our last um, session. So this was the banner that we created, a test banner. <laughs> um, so to create, um, to continue with your intro video, you wanna add music. So YouTube actually has an audio library and I, I always forget how to access it directly from here. So I'm going to go ahead and Google YouTube audio library. Okay, and here it comes up, YouTube audio library. And there is a whole catalog of music that you can download for free. Um, so whatever genre you want to use, you have romantic, calm, dramatic, dark. A lot of them are just like instrumental. Some of them have lyrics. So you can preview them just by pressing the play button. So that's a uh, dance and electronic, um, hip hop and rap. That has music. So you can download any of these for your videos. So you can use this for your intro. Generally, that's a different music than you use for your actual video. It could be the same. Um, so I, lo I love this. It, it's so easy. Uh, let me go back to the first page. So I like this uh, smoky Smokey's Lounge. It sounds like a good intro. So I'll download that. So it's playing here. I think it's playing in my Apple Music. Okay, so I downloaded it and it went to, sorry, can you all see my, okay. Where is that? Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why I was black. It's because my camera was covered and I didn't know that. Oh, fun. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get this share going again. So you can see my screen. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we're back at YouTube, at Canva, and we're going to upload I think I already uploaded it, but we're going to upload just so you can see. So I go to upload here, upload media. And then I am going to select the song that I downloaded here. So it's Smokey's Lounge. Okay. And then so once it's finished uploading, you're just going to click it and drag it over. Oh, I didn't even have to drag it. I just had to click it. So you hear it and here you can control the volume. Okay. So we're going to preview it with the music and see how it works. So not right now the video is nine seconds, which I think is a little long, but we'll see how that works. Okay. So I think that's great. Um, so when you get into the editing, you, you realize how it came to an abrupt stop. You can choose to fade that music. So it just fades out really nicely. You can also do video of yourself waving, welcome. Oh, that would be something 
nice to add to welcome CIR, you know, just some extra ideas. And you have the nice intro music. And then so when you're editing, you'll have your video. And then you always have this, you can download it. So when, when once it's done, it's solidified. For the sake of time, I'm just going to say this is solidified, but you can go as crazy as you want. Download and make sure you download as an MP4 video. It's going to download all three pages as one video with the music as well. If you want, you can just download the video without the music and add the video while you're editing in the edit and in the editing software. So that's what I've done before, but it's great to have the music here so you don't have to do anything. You can always just drop that into your, um, your video while you're editing. So I'm gonna download that just so we have it. And then, so next we're gonna go, oh, here you can actually change the name. This is a little uh, detail for those who are not that familiar with Canva. You can change the name of your file here. So when whenever you download it, you know what it is. Oh, what was that? <laughs> it downloaded, so it's showing me um, the video. Let's see. Okay. All right, so we have that. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to change the name here, CIR. YouTube intro. And so when I download it, it'll have that title. So now we're going to go and do the outro. Same concept, different content. So we're going to go home, create another design. I'm going to stay consistent and use YouTube thumbnail. So for here, there are actually pre-existing templates for your YouTube end cap. So if you want to just do that, that's a secret. You can just go and customize it as you wish. If you're like me, you like to start from scratch and have your own style, then you will use the same format that we just did for the intro video. So what we're gonna do for the outro, the outro is generally a little bit of a little more simple. <laughs> it's, it could be one or two pages, but what it would tell you to do, it's an action item. So you want to, when you have your YouTube channel, you want to build your community. So you want to make sure that whoever's your audience, that they're subscribed. So you're building your audience. You want them to like, because that helps with your uh, metrics. And you want to, if you have an Instagram, you want them to also follow you on Instagram or Facebook because there may be other content for them in those spaces as well. So you want to build your community. So this is gonna be, your outro is gonna be your call to action. If you have more videos already on your channel, this is also a, a place where you would add links to another video that they may be interested in. Okay, so we're going to keep it very simple. And you also want to thank them. Thank you. You just took five minutes or 10 minutes, however time, however much time your, um, the length of your video was. They just took that time to watch your video and they can't get that five minutes back. So thank you want to thank them for taking the time to watch. So we're going to do, let's do glow. Whoa, I'm gonna change the color to this soft blue. And I'm going to thank you for watching. And then I'm gonna make it smaller, obviously, because it's falling off of my page. See, maybe let's just try 50. Okay. 
thank you for watching. And then I am going to add a picture, but I want to make it um, stand out a little bit. So I'm going to use a frame around my picture uh, in the shape of a circle. So you have these circles and of course it's a video. So you wanna incorporate motion as much as possible. You can use a static um, circle or whatever shape or whatever you decide to do. But I think as much motion as possible in these adds to um, makes it a little bit more appealing. So I have this and remember I want, I want to center it C. So it's okay, so that's centered, but I'm, I'm gonna put it down a little bit because it's too close. Okay. And so I want to put my picture in the middle here. So I'm going to have to add a frame because my picture is a rectangular picture and I want it to be a circle. So I'm going to add a frame. Uh, so the type in, oh, I didn't have to type it in because it's there. So you can type in frame in the search bar and these are all the frames. So these are frames that they're there. You can just drop in your picture and it'll take the shape of that frame. So this is a circle. So I will use the circle frame and I'll have to resize it so that it goes into the center. And it's showing me that it's perfect, perfectly centered. So that's great. And I'll go back to a picture that I've uploaded. And I'll pick one of these and drop that into the frame. And then you can double click and make it bigger. Move it over. Okay. So that looks great. Um, so now I also want to tell my um, viewer, don't forget to, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow, and also let them know where they can find me on other social media channels. So don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. A little too big, so we're gonna make it smaller. I actually like that color, it's very calming. And then I'm going to add uh, Instagram icon, go to elements, type in Instagram. Okay, Instagram icon right here. I'm gonna make it smaller, hold down the shift and make that smaller. And then I'm gonna look for the Facebook icon, Facebook. I'm gonna, to keep it consistent, I wanna keep, choose one that's the same shape, similar. Resize and make sure they're about the same size. And then you're going to add your tag. So let's do add subheading so that it's not as bold. And then we'll say add CIR. So this is fictitious. I'm just creating this. So this doesn't exist. And if it does, it's not mine. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to actually change that to black. Gray is actually great. Okay. So when you, um, so sometimes here, I'm not gonna do it now, but I will show you, um, let's say rectangle. 
where you would add your videos if you have other videos that they may you may want them to watch so i would add it here um let me change the color so that we can see it okay and i'll just copy and paste it on the other side so this is just a template you can add screenshots of videos that you have here. And when you're editing your uh, video all together, you can link the screenshot to the actual video so that your viewer can actually click on it and they will go to that next video. So you don't want to leave them hanging after they seen, they've seen your video. You want them to continue to subscribe. You want them to watch other videos. Okay, so this builds the community. And um, so let's see how this looks without anything else. All right, so it's 5.7 seconds. We're gonna play it. So that's it. So what we wanna do, we wanna add a little bit of animation, right? And then we wanna add some music. So you can use the same music as you did as your intro, or you can find another song and add that as well. But remember that this is gonna be consistent at the beginning and the end of each of your videos. So here we're gonna animate. I like the pan, I think, for this. So we're gonna pan. And this, I think a blinking or something like that would be really good. Oh, that was cool. Look. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Verse, verse is a very popular one. Um, so we'll add verse, and then we're going to add the same music. Oh, so I got kicked out. So I'm yeah. just going to go back. Or, yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So I'm going to my uploads and I'm going to my audio to find the music that I uploaded and I'm going to add the music. Okay, so we're going to change the volume because sometimes when the music is at 100%, if someone goes to your channel and it plays music, it's gonna be blaring. <laughs> so sometimes you change it. So it's a little bit lower, 50, 30% is good, but it, you know, if you want it at a 100%, if that works for you, then that's just something to be conscious of. Okay, so that's how the music started at the intro. So for the outro, we're gonna make it start at a different part of the song. So we're just gonna move this over a little bit and see how that works. All right, so that's fine. So now I'm gonna play it to see how everything works together with the animation and the music. Okay, so that's great. So the same thing, uh, general, it will be great to fade in and fade out. Um, and that's something that can be done in your editing uh, with your editing software. So here I am going to, it's say it's uh, labeled as thank you for watching. That's fine, I can keep it like that. And I'll download it. So now you have your intro and your outro. If you ever need to change anything, it's easy to just sign into your Canva account. If I wanna change the color for this because my branding colors have changed, you can just come in here and change the color really easily. If maybe you don't like this circle spinning around and you want something else, you can just come in and change, change it easily. Okay, there we go. Um, so that's why I like Canva because everything is right there. So I've downloaded it. 
And so that's pretty much it. But um, so the next program, we're going to go over and any questions, because I that, that was pretty straightforward, but there may be some additional questions about um, designing your intro and outro or just about where it goes or formatting. So please feel free to ask away. I'm going to stop my share really quick. No, I just stopped my shit. It's not you. Yeah. No, that, that was just me putting in that comment. <laughs> um, I put a link to a survey down below. Um, if any of you are interested, we do a drawing for gift cards if you fill out the survey. Um, also, someone had a question about a Canva tutorial. I put a link to a previous video that we did on YouTube. Um, well, it's, it's on, saved on YouTube about using Canva um, and also Ceresa's design a logo video is linked there as well because that was part of that question. Okay. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the chat or if you raise your hand, um, I may be able to unmute you. Um, also for those watching in Facebook land, feel free to leave a question in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, so this was just the design because there are a lot of little uh, elements when it comes to doing your um, creating your YouTube channel. So we're really going slowly showing you how to design these elements so that when you have to put it all together, you know what you need to do. Uh, so the next program that we're going to be doing is actually next Friday, March 1st how to record your video. So this will go into tips. I mentioned in our last program, um, getting started, a lot of people are intimidated. They feel like they need to have the best camera. You know, you can record with, if you have a good cell phone camera, you can record with your cell phone camera. You can re record over Zoom. You can record over Zoom and upload it. So there are a lot of different options you have. Um, and then we'll go into a little bit of editing and how to add that video with your intro and your outro. Um, Saturday, March 5th, we're having an art wellness workshop with art therapist Jane Bichelle Semevelos. Um, so I hope you all can come and attend that. It's March 5th at 11 a.m. And Thursday, March 10th, we are sewing. <laughs> I think it's my first sewing program with the library. So we'll be sewing an infinity scarf. Do I have one? Yeah. So just, you know, it's starting to get warm out. So we're going to pack away our wool, but we still want to cover our necks and look fashionable. So we'll show you how to make a nice um, infinity scarf with a, a nice piece of fabric of your choice. Always feel free to email me creative at NHF pl.org with any questions or to uh, schedule your office hours with me. Uh, my office, office hours are Mondays 11 to 1 p.m. and Thursdays 12 to 2 p.m. Did another question just come in or was that you? Okay. Uh, I was just putting in, if you missed the first YouTube class, I put a link in the chat where you can watch it again um, on our Facebook channel. Um, I don't know if anyone has anything else that they would like to know, but now is your time to ask your questions. Yes, thank you, Jennifer. And thank you all for attending this program. It's very important. Um, a lot of uh, people have started businesses and uh, started YouTube channels to share their skills with the world. Um, so I think this is a very important program and I'm glad that you all have taken the time to attend today. Thank you all for the questions. Oh, someone has their hand raised. Let me see if I can find them. Ada has their hand raised. Um, Ada, you should be able to unmute yourself now. Go ahead. Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. 
Thank you um, for this presentation. Um, I raised my hand because I wanted to get your attention before you signed out real quick. Otherwise, sure. I would probably just wrote it, it wrote the question. But I would be interested in meeting with you for your office hours this week, Monday and Thursday, because I'm trying to launch some things like in the very near future, like within the week. Okay. Um, uh, email Ada, I just put the link in, to sign up for office hours in the chat. So if you click there, you can sign up for what's available. Perfect. You're the best. <laughs> I look forward to meeting you, Ada. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I was, I've been at the, I think the last couple of, I've been enjoying them very much. Thank you. Oh, and you're making you. me also, even though I'm not ready to actually like do the, the influencing on the YouTube, but mm -hmm. that's like a longer term goal, maybe later towards the latter part of the year, but you're making me at least think of like, at least starting to just set up a website, even yes. just to have it. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Practice the skills. Mm -hmm. Just start. Okay, so please just give me a few minutes to grab the information. <laughs> sure. Thank you. And that's fine. We'll we'll stay up for just a minute. This is awesome. I'm sure a lot of people are home today with the yucky weather. Yeah, it's it's just me in the library, and I swear today. So that's why I was bouncing. I, I figured. Forward. Don't worry. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> So but the library is open until five o'clock um, and we will be open tomorrow from 10 to five unless something changes between now and five. Um, and then we'll be back open on Monday. All right, it looks like we don't have any should, other should questions. I, um, should I set up the, right now or just copy the information and set it up later. So if you click on the link, it should open in a new tab. Um, so you can sign um, you can sign up for that at your convenience. OK. Um, OK. I'm just trying to get it to, because um, I don't know if I, I don't know if it'll keep on here. What's the best way to, to do it to, to show the link, the link will still be live? Uh, so that link is always live. Okay. Um, so if you were to click on that link, it should open in a new tab um, on your on your computer. Are you on your computer or are you on a phone? I'm on my I'm on my tablet right now. Okay, so it should open up a new tab um, on your tablet in the internet. Um, okay. So even after this YouTube video or this uh, Zoom call closes, you should be able to access that link in the internet specifically. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, you're welcome, Faye. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I look forward to meeting you all. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank Not you. a problem. Okay, got it. Thank you. Have a great one. Thank you so much. All right, you too. All right, well, thank you, Saressa, for this. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed your vacation. I did. <laughs> um, and we will see you on Monday. I'm going to um, end the Zoom for everyone, which will also end the stream on Facebook. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to call us at the library. Oh, that was the library's phone number, 203-946-8130. I've squared its extension is 140. Um, I'm here until 5 o'clock to answer all of your questions. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.